Hi, it's Tony. You're in Pop Pop's workshop. Today in Gadget Corner, we're talking sanders. All the different varieties that we use here in our shop. I'm going to ask you about some of the ones you use. But before that, I want to talk about the proper PPE when you're dealing with things that create fine dust. Uh, we've got a, a fan that we have uh, fil filters on for removing the fine particles from the air while we're working. You want to have proper dust collection hookups. A couple of these don't necessarily, so we're going to talk about that a little bit, but they're also loud. We want to have good ear protection. Grab your isotunes or whatever you're using uh, to protect your ears. And uh, we recently picked up this uh, RZ mask and we're loving it. So grab yourself and make sure you have good lung protection because those fine particles will do damage. So you want to make sure that first and foremost, before you're worrying about what you're sanding or how you're sanding, protect yourself from the sanding dust. So, with that being said, let's skip to the end of our sanding journey here in the shop, which usually ends with hand sanding. So we've got one of these uh, little sanding mouse holders here. It'll take our regular five inch pads and we can wrap them around there and use them that way. It's really good for that final sanding that I want to do because I want to do that by hand just to make sure that I'm going with the grain and everything's going to be as smooth as I can possibly get it. And for those curves or the holes, we're cutting out holes. We want to make sure the edges are sanded up. Maybe we've rounded over something. Uh, I'll just take a Sharpie and that same five inch pat, uh, disc and I'll just wrap it around the Sharpie and use that for irregular surfaces. So that's handy. I know some, uh, some places like uh, Woodcraft will sell small detail sanders, uh, kind of narrow, like a, you can hold them like a pencil and they've got little belts that you can rotate a little bit at a time. Uh, you might check those out. They come in different grits. So those are handy for a little detail sanding as well. And so when we think about detail sanding, many of us have an uh, oscillating tool. And most of the time they come with a separate head that will hold these little triangular pads for detail sanding. We've got one. Use it a little bit. Uh, it does shake the daylights out of you. So uh, I would suggest like some anti-vibration gloves if you're going to use this. or uh, another option that uh, a lot of guys are turning to now, uh, I saw it on uh, Matt Outlaw 731 uh, Woodworks channel. He got a Milwaukee detail sander. He really loves that thing. You'll have to take a look at his video. He highly recommends that. So maybe that's where you want to upgrade from what you've got in a kit that you may have bought to something more task specific that's designed with low vibration, low noise, things like that. Also, one of the things... Uh, that we talked about earlier, this dust collection on this is not good. Um, and of course it isn't on that Milwaukee either. Matt talks about that. So um, you want to do whatever you can to make sure again, your fans going, maybe bringing over hose and clamping it down so you can collect all that fine dust at the source. Something else in our shop that we use that does not have the best dust collection is our Craftsman belt sander. Uh, we got this newer model when our older model that had served us for a solid 20 years. Um, just died on us so we went out and grabbed one of these because we needed to grab one right away and it was available at our local ace hardware so we ran and picked it up and it does great it's it does a, a really nice job uh, but it only has like a little bag that slips on here it's kind of a funny connection uh, for the dust collection and that bag fills up in no time so dust collection is a nuisance on it at best uh, but not not good so you want to think about that if you're going to be running a belt sander dust collection. How does it hook up? You know, how can I make that better? Uh, one other thing we're using quite a bit of is our Metabo random orbit sander. Uh, in this same quarter cable line, we had a battery operated um, uh, random orbit sander. It wasn't the best. It really seemed to kill the batteries fast. I was constantly changing out batteries. Uh, none of the other tools in the line did that, so I'm not sure if I had a bad one or if that's just part of the problem with that line. I know other guys have got uh, cordless Metabos, Makitas, DeWalt's, whatever, and they love them. They see they, they do a great job. Uh, but when I needed another one, I just ran to our local Menards, a box store, picked up this Metabo, and have not looked back. It's uh, got a nice adapter on the back. It does come with a bag. But we took the bag off, put their adapter on, and it hooks right up to our shop back hose. So we get great dust collection off of that random orbit sander. So that's a big plus for that one. And finally, uh, one of the tools that has really, really made our life easier in the shop 
is this Triton belt and uh, spindle sander. It's fabulous, guys. If you are thinking about getting one of these, pick it up. I did a video a while back as to why I chose the Triton over the Bauer at Harbor Freight or the Rigid at Home Depot or even the Wen. Um, all good options if, if you're looking for that. All look very similar, function very similar. Uh, but Triton had a good reputation, so we went with Triton. And we have not regretted that a bit. Went and picked it up at our local Woodcraft and have been happy ever since. It's been great in making templates, rough cut them on the bandsaw, come over and just detail it right to the line with the uh, belt sander. And it is just a fabulous tool. So again, it's got a hose connection similar to what I have on my Metabo, but it also has this adapter. So if you're running a larger collection system, you can just slip the adapter in Hook up your other hose and it as you can see is in there so that's the other thing you want to think about can it is it adaptable can it handle my dust collection system this can so that's a very big plus for that one so those are the sanders that we're running in the shop i'm sure they'll expand over time uh, but we'd like to ask you what you're using in your shop for sanders have you used the new uh, milwaukee detail sander what do you think uh, do you have a different version of the belt and spindle sander? What do you think of that? How's your random orbit? How's your belt sander? What are you using? What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Whatever it might be, put it in the comments. Let us know. Thanks for watching the video. We never take for granted, granted that you have watched the video, and we really appreciate that. It means a lot to us. Thanks again, and remember, you can do this.